I'm Anil Kumar. We are taking few questions based on sine and cosine law. Here the question is, a weather balloon is being tracked by two stations 15 kilometers apart. At a point when it is directly between these stations, the angle of elevation from them is 60 degrees and 75 degrees. Determine the altitude of the weather balloon. So we need to find the height of the weather balloon, right? So let us say uh, this is the balloon, right? So this is the balloon for us. And it is between two stations. So let's say these are the two stations on the ground. And what we are given here is that the angle of elevation. So if you look from the bottom to the top, the angle of elevation, let's say it makes over this side and over the other end, is given to us right so that is what it is so the angle of elevation from one side is 60 degrees let's write this as 60 degrees and the other one as 75 degrees so that is a situation given to us and what do we need to find determine the altitude that means the height of this balloon so we need to find the height of this balloon right so that is the situation let us say these stations are a and B right and the height is CD okay so that is kind of our triangle to solve let us see how to solve such a situation you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions now in this case we are also given the distance between the two tracking stations which is 15 kilometers and we need to find this height for the time being. So what we can do from here is uh, we can actually apply sine law and find one of the sides. We know actually the angle C, right? Since some of these three angles is 180 degrees. So in triangle ABC, what is angle C? Angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 75 degrees, correct? So angle C is known to us, let's calculate, 180 minus 60 minus 75. That gives us 45 degrees. So that is 45 degrees, right? So this is 45 degrees. Now we know a pair which is angle and opposite side. So that helps to find or to apply the sign law, right? So we can now apply this sign law. So if I apply the sine law, I have option to find either sides. Let me find what AC is. So we'll say, so this is actually speaking, this is a right triangle anyway, but we are talking in the triangle ABC, okay? So AC is opposite to 75, correct? So we'll write AC over sine of 75 degrees is equal to what is known. Since we took AC the side length, we'll write the length known, which is 15 kilometers, divide by sine of angle given to us, which is sine of 45 degrees, correct? So AC is equal to 15 over sine of 45 degrees times sine of 75 degrees, correct? So let's calculate this answer. So we have 15 divided by sine of 45 degrees equals to times sine of 75 degrees okay so that gives us in decimals 20.49 so this is equal to 20.49 i can round this to 20.5 now we need so we got this ac as 20.5 let us say now we need to determine the altitude, this particular height. Now to find this height, we can use the triangle, the smaller triangle, correct? Okay? So now let us use the smaller triangle, which is triangle ACD, right? So let's use triangle ACD to find CD. Now in this particular triangle, we know the angle and the hypotenuse. We need to find the opposite side. So the opposite side can be calculated with sine of the angle, right? So we have sine of 60 degrees 
is equals to opposite over hypotenuse that is CD over the hypotenuse 20.5 correct so CD by rearranging this equation is equals to 20.5 times sine of 60 degrees correct let's use the calculator once again so we have 20.5 times sine of 60 degrees that is equal to in decimals 17.75 so we get 17.75 so 17.75 could be rounded to since we are not given how much it should be round to so we'll round it to whole number since the distance is given as 15 kilometers so it's approximately 18 kilometers is that okay so we can say the answer is altitude is around 18 kilometers correct so that is how you could apply the sine law along with the combination of uh, trigonometric properties which you learn for 90 degrees to get the altitude. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.